Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you something special, Zorin OS 18. The latest version of one of the most beautiful and friendly Linux systems is here. We'll see why so many people call it the perfect alternative to Windows, what's new, and whether it's really worth switching to. To start, I will go through the steps to install Zorin OS 18 along with Windows. Whether you have Windows 10 or 11, the process is the same, so the first thing I will do is download Zorin OS 18 from the official website. To start, I will go through the steps to install Zorin OS 18 along with Windows. On the Zorin OS page you will find several versions for download. These are Zorin OS, Pro, Core, Education and Lite. All versions are completely free except Zorin OS Pro for which you will have to pay 47.99 euros. After you select and download the appropriate version of Zorin OS for you, you will need to create an installation USB. For this purpose, in this video I will use the Belina Etcher application, which is recommended by the Zorin developers. If you prefer you can use Rufus instead of Belina Etcher it is entirely up to you. After downloading Belina Etcher, go to the Downloads folder and run its file. Then wait for the installation to complete and the Belina Etcher window will open automatically. Go to Flash from File and select the Zorin OS ISO file. Don't forget to plug in the USB drive and keep in mind that it will be formatted, so save any important files in advance. Then select the USB drive and when everything is ready, finish with the Flash button. Creating the installation USB will take some time, so wait patiently for the process to complete. When the installation USB is ready, it's time to restart your computer to install Zorin OS. Immediately after the restart, Activate the boot menu to select the installation USB you created. I show you the most commonly used buttons to activate the boot menu. When the boot menu loads, find the option to boot from USB and select it. In the Zorin OS boot menu, select Try or Install. Now you need to wait for the installation USB to boot. Now you can choose to try or install Zorin OS. I'll go straight to the installation, but if you want you can try Zorin OS from the live USB first. Here you select the keyboard language and layout. On this window you can choose a normal or minimal installation. The difference is that with the normal installation you get more software. You can also check the Zorin OS Census which is a voluntary, completely anonymous system for collecting statistics. It does not collect personal data, only general information so don't worry about using it. In the next step you need to choose what type of installation you want. The first option is to install Zorin OS together with Windows. The second option is to install Zorin OS as the only operating system and it will remove everything from your disk, so it is mandatory if you use it to back up your files beforehand. The third option is for more advanced users or for cases when you have a more non-standard partitioning of your disk. I want to keep Windows so I will choose the first option. On this window, Zorin OS will suggest how much space to allocate from your Windows disk. You can adjust this space if you want it to be smaller or larger and then you are ready to move on. Here you need to confirm the change in partition size with continue. Now you will receive a final warning that all changes will be applied which you must confirm to continue. Now select your region.
Create your account by entering the required information and password, then you are done and the Zorin OS installation will begin. The installation process took me 7 or 8 minutes, so please be patient. When the installation process is complete, restart your computer to boot Zorin OS for the first time. Don't forget to remove the installation USB after restarting your computer. After the restart, it will load the Zorin OS boot menu. From here you can choose which operating system to load Zorin or Windows. Let me load Zorin for the first time. The first thing you will see when the beautiful Zorin OS desktop loads for the first time is the welcome application. Start the tour to get acquainted with Zorin OS and its main features. The Zorin tour is very useful especially for new users, which is exactly the goal of this project. As you will see later in this video, Zorin OS was created and is being developed entirely for the benefit of new users coming not only from Windows, but also from Mac OS. The start menu in Zorin OS is one of its strongest points because it is designed to be convenient and adaptable, especially for users coming from Windows. The menu is the central point of access to applications, settings, files and system functions. And that's not all because Zorin OS offers the unique opportunity to change the style of the entire desktop, including the start menu, through the Zorin Appearance application. Zorin OS 18 is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS with Linux kernel 6.8, the desktop environment is modified from Zorin, GNOME 46. This version has arrived packed with improvements that make your computer more powerful, easy, and enjoyable to use. The first thing you'll notice in Zorin OS 18 is the beautifully redesigned desktop. The best parts of the Zorin OS aesthetic that you know and love have been preserved, while the overall look of the environment has been improved. The panel now has a floating, rounded style by default, which gives the system a modern visual design. The Activity Overview button is also here, helping you move between tasks more easily. One of my favorite and impressive new features is Advanced Window Arranging. Multitasking gets a whole lot better here. The new powerful default window arranging manager is one of the Windows features that I have always missed in any other operating system and I am extremely happy that it has been added to Zorin OS. Another new feature in Zorin OS 18 is the integration with OneDrive files, which is extremely useful for any user migrating from Windows, as the ability to access your files stored in the cloud is key when making the switch. You can add this integration via online accounts in settings, and then you will be able to view and manage your OneDrive files directly from the sidebar in the Files app. Zorin OS 18 introduces seamless integration with web apps. The newly built web app tool lets you turn any website into a desktop app through an easy-to-use interface. Your web apps will appear in the Start menu and can be used just like native apps. The web app tool can integrate with any popular web browser as a backend and allows you to customize the experience in any web app including Microsoft Office 365, Teams, Google Docs, Adobe Photoshop, and many more. The database for detecting installation files for popular Windows applications now supports over 170 applications, recommending even more personalized alternatives. For example, when you launch the Windows installer for an application like Microsoft Office, Zorin OS displays a dialog box that guides you through the best way to use that application, whether it's a web app or its native Linux version from the software store. Three new desktop layouts added to Zorin OS Pro. Switchable desktop layouts are one of the notable features that make Zorin OS so easy to use. 
Whether you want a more familiar interface when switching to Zorin OS, or a complete way to customize your workspace with a single click. The three new layouts are Compact Panel Layout for stylishly maximizing screen space Linux Mint-like layout, with a new Start Menu layout inspired by the upcoming Linux Mint redesign, and Elementary Layout, similar to Elementary OS, for a clean, minimalist style. You can choose from an expanded selection of accent colors for your desktop theme, in both light and dark variants. The new yellow and brown theme colors not only add a fresh look to your desktop, but also allow for more. Personalization, helping you create a workspace that better suits your taste. Overall, Zorin OS 18 is packed with new features and it's a really big update. It was a great pleasure for me to get to know Zorin OS 18. I want to express special thanks to the developers of this operating system that develops update after update and never stops making it easier for current and new users. Thank you for providing us with this beautiful and so pleasant to use operating system. And to those of you who have not tried Zorin OS, I can still wish you to do so, because you and your computer deserve it. Windows 10 is already history, but that does not mean that you should throw away your computer. Continue with Zorin OS and it will serve you for a long time. I hope this video was interesting for you and we will meet again next time. Have a nice day, and take care.